Hi everyone, welcome back to Planet Crafter. This is episode 8. Okay, so I've uh, I harvested the plants. I actually went and got myself... I, I emptied out the iridium, uh, iridium and uh, aluminium extractors. As you can see, I'm, I'm chock-a-block with resources. I've got everything I could need. Iron, silicon, titanium, aluminium, all filled up. I also removed... Uh, I've also got this as well. Uh, what do I need for an engine? Okay, a couple of uranium and an alloy. Um, I also removed uh, the aluminium, whatever it's called. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, grab that. I also removed the aluminium uh, extractor, or one of them. So I've still got one there, but I, I did remove one of them. Uh, the point being is I want to stick one on the sulfur. In fact, that's what we're going to do right now. Going to head over to the sulfur. Oh, Biodome Tier 2 is up and running. We can start uh, making... That, that'll create tree bark for us, which is uh, essential for later on. So I have to find a place to throw that. But right now I'm just going to get this sulfur sulfur extractor up and running. I won't bother. I, I just cleaned those out not long ago, so it's fine. Um, oh, there's a crate here. What's in here? Eh, fine, we'll take it. And yeah, we're going to the sulfur area. We're going to chuck the extractor up in this sulfur area somewhere. Probably on this little hill here. It's fine. Just wanna. There we go. And this will produce sulfur for us. Um, I mean, I want to run around and collect the sulfur, and uh, any aluminium I see is obviously something good. Now, I'm gonna empty enter the Osmian Cave from this side. I'm assuming the ice has melted by now. And there's probably. Yeah, there's tons of sulfur in here. But uh, hopefully we find some osmium as well. We need that. Here it is. Once I get the extractor tier 2, I can stick one in this cave. And we can just, you know, just produce it endlessly. Okay, so when I get back, we'll make that biodome level 2. Where are we going? Osmium, look at all this stuff. Beautiful. And uh, the more we pick up sulfur, the better. We're going to be turning that into fertilizer. We're going to be turning it into um, explosive powder. It's going to be turned into quite a few things. Osmium. So this is. Yeah. This was all melt. This was all blocking us before. We've just gone in through the reverse side. I'll actually go out that side just to show everyone. It's it's the same cave, same Osmian cave as before. Okay, um, how much did we get? Yeah, we got seven. That's, that's okay. That'll tide us over. We can always disassemble stuff if we definitely. Need. Oh no, we only actually got five because we had two on us already. No, no, we didn't use rocket extractor. We got seven, but uh, yeah, if we go back out this way here. Oh, how did I miss that before? Was it covered in ice? It might have been. And uh, if you remember all this, I wanted to get that iron, but oxygen level is rather low. Okay, and um, what is all this? Oh god, I gotta clean all these out. I, ideally, I, I need to um, I need to chuck down one of these things. I need to do. And then we can, um, we can throw all this in here for now. Um, but yeah, what I, what I want to do is um, clean these out completely and chuck them in here. There we go. And then we can pick, uh, well, we can grab these two. Um, we want these osmium. This osmium, we're going to take it with us. 
But uh, one thing I want to do is... Is there anything in there? No. Okay, right, cool. And uh, of course we can we can throw another one down somewhere. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, meh. We'll just do it like that. Fantastic. I mean, we can we can grab the rest of these and then throw these in here. We're going to take a bunch of this stuff with us. Probably the iron, since I love iron so much. Uh, we'll take the silicon as well, because it's the, the odd one out there. There we go. And, yep, let's go. Oh, there's iron right out here. I'm actually going to leave some of this here and just harvest some of it. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll harvest, like, five things on the way. And let's check on that piece of uranium and see if it's there or not. Three. If you remember, there was a piece of uranium that was um, that was too shallow for me to harvest. So I'm wondering if I go down in here, if I'm going to see it or not. It's, it wasn't here. It was up against this wall here. So as you can see, it has actually despawned. So yeah, uranium does despawn, it doesn't last forever. So I've got two spots free. Alright, cool. The water level's still rising. I, um, I'd like to know when it gets to its peak so I can chuck down my algae machine thingy. Start collecting up algae. Okay, anyway, we got a ton of stuff here. I can't put that anywhere. Where's our sulfur? There we go, holding sulfur in here. And we'll chuck spare um, of that stuff in there as well. I think we're just keeping osmium in here for now. We really do need a dedicated um, place for osmium to sit. Maybe, maybe I'll just chuck it in here for now. Seems to be my, yeah. Ah. This is this is nuts. I, I've got some some problems. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna need some water, and we're gonna need some food soon as well. Yeah, I'll take that. And we'll just eat ourselves a bean. Ooh, gives us a lot. Okay. Um, Next thing we want to do is this biodome level two. So we need two fertilizer for that. Now, um, up, upstairs. I know I put this here, but what I want to do is create a ladder that goes down. So probably in this corner here. So that's um, well, it'll go up. So if I just stick a ladder right here in this corner, it should head up into that room there. Should do. What do we need for it? Uh, iron and cobalt. Okay, easy. Cobalt, iron, fantastic. And indoor ladder. Okay, we'll just get it as close to as we can. Okay, when I climb in there, it takes us up there. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need this fertilizer. Do we have any fertilizer with us? No, we don't. Um, now, fertilizer requires algae. I don't have an algae thing. An algae pump thingy. I don't, I don't know if this water, this water I'm pretty sure gets higher than this. Um, you can't actually make the biodome until we have the algae. I don't want to put the algae thing down unless the water is, is raised up higher. Um, I, I think it probably will... Oh, we can uh, use flower pots. It, it'll probably it'll probably raise with the water, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. But um, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. No, no, no reason to rush it. Um, not interested in that. 
Need a tier 4, we really want this. We have to get our oxygen up. Um, the biodome level 2 will do that, of course. This thing here, 1450 oxygen. We really want this badly. Um, yeah. <coughs> pressure. Okay, flower spread. We want this. We're getting there. We're not quite there yet. We need more pressure. So what we'll do is we'll put a pressure. We'll just use a pressure rocket. So we've got a uh, we've got an engine here. We're going to need two of these. One, two, and three silicon, I believe. So we've put up nothing but heat rockets so far. This time we're going to put up a pressure rocket. That'll greatly increase our our pressure, our income from pressure, pretty much. Okay, and here we go. Magnetic field protection rocket. Attracts iridium asteroids. Pressure multiplier, 1,000%. So let's do this. Get this thing going, and... Hit the button. And we can watch this rocket climb. Watch it from our roof of our base. I'm gonna put a communication thing up on top of here pretty soon. Um, so yeah, the rocket's heading heading up into the sky, and we're about to get bombarded with um, iridium meteorites. But uh, before they come in, let's have a look at our what what change we've made. Our pressure is now 1820. Still very slow though. I need it to be much higher. I kind of want to do another one of those. Right right now we're getting bombarded with iridium asteroids. If you can See. Boom. We'll, uh, we'll collect all that iridium up later. Let's, uh, let's see, do we have an iridium rod? Yes, we do. Uh, what else do we need? A super alloy and two uranium. How are we going on the uranium? We're okay. Super alloy. How is this looking? 612 tons of power. Um, okay, this will create us our rocket engine. Fantastic. And once again, we're going to go. What do we want? Two super alloys. And three more of these things. One, two, three. And uh, we will send up another rocket as well and just keep, keep increasing our pressure. We're going to get it out to 2.5 so we can get the heaters. Oh, wait, no, hang on. 2.5. Yeah, so we can get the flower spreader get our oxygen increase. Anyway, these things have all crashed. We're just going to go around and uh, collect up free iridium. Of course, we are getting free iridium from our two iridium extractors in the iridium cave, so uh, it's not the highest priority. If I miss a few, not a big deal. We're getting, we're getting it for free, pretty much. But I mean, while it's laying around on the ground, we might as well grab it. Now, I saw an asteroid crashing all the way over here somewhere. I'm looking forward to the flower spreaders, they're going to be good. Okay, we've got, um, see, as you can see, these are starting to fill up with water now, which is uh, pretty cool. Ah, cool water. Okay, we'll grab that, and we'll grab this, and that. And, what do we want? No. Come on, there's no other pieces floating around. Pretty stingy asteroids, if you ask me. Okay, this one's actually been okay. Okay, let's head over to this crash site over here. See if we can unearth some of this beautiful iridium. Ah, it's in the water. It's okay, I can get to it. more in here? No. Probably some up here somewhere. We only picked up three. Oh, here we go. Four. Five. I should get that rocket ready to go just to create space in my inventory. Oh, oh, look at that. Uh, we get a golden effigy. It's just a little thing. And two super alloy. Oh, and a 600% golden seed. Love it. And uh, this will give us, um, yep, super alloy and an aluminium. That is fantastic. I had no idea. 
golden chests just under the rock there. I know they're around the place somewhere. You find them in the corners and things. I did not expect one to be under there. I don't think I've ever found that one before. I know there are guides out there that allow you to um, to find these things if you, you know, if, if you want to, to do it that way. I kind of just enjoy the um, the exploration aspect of the game. I like the fact that uh, it's always exciting when you find something new. Flower spreader has arrived. I'm trying to get that piece of iridium under there. I can see it, I just can't reach it. I have to wait for the rock to disappear. There's probably iridium in the water, but let's get rid of what we have already. So, we'll, uh, we'll iridium rotify. Just chuck it in there for now. Uh, the effigy will we'll, we'll chuck down. I don't know, we can chuck it down on this table here. You can pick them back up again, so it's not a big deal. So we'll just uh, chuck that there, that's fine. Golden seed. That's going in my, that's immediately going in my flower spreader. Absolutely. Um, what are we going to do with the... Yeah, I'm putting them in here, I guess. Yep. Oh, I, I wanted silicon, didn't I? Get that rocket up and running. Uh, what do flower spreaders require? Um, super alloy, magnesium, fertilizer. I don't have any fertilizer. Oh. Okay, I'm going to be searching for more iridium. That one's probably accessible now. Oh no, it's still not accessible. Unless I can get it from this side. No, I can't. Well, let's get the rocket set up, ready to go. We won't launch it. I want to fly around the map picking up free iridium first. But uh, it looks like we're going to have to put down our algae creation machine. That's what we want. We'll have the rocket sitting there, ready to go. I think uh, another one crashed over here, or maybe multiple did. Yeah, I can see over there there's going to be some iridium there. There's probably iridium in amongst all this ruddle, rubble, 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 rubble here. We'll just grab that really quick. Come on. Oh, I had it. There we go. When it's highlighted. I'll grab that one. I uh, can't quite grab that one yet. Any more floating around? This one right here. Hydration level low. Well, we'll wait till it gets critical. Over here we had another meteorite crash, so there's probably some shiny red stuff here as well. Well, there's one. Oh, graphical error. You know, where's the rest? Oh, I might have to lift up my base to get that one. Um, these are all empty, so it's not that hard to do actually. we go and then put it back down again come on come on come on it does not like those rocks the rock the rocks are a problem anyway let, let's grab the rest of this how much space I got I got a bit god we can't get in there imagine if a meteor shower hit while you were exploring this wreck it'd be instant death you would just die. There'd be, there'd be no way to... You'd have to sit there. Yeah, that'd be that'd be horrible. What a horrible way to go. Never hiding one of those things during a meteor shower. That blocks up the entrance. You're dead. Um, okay, I'll just move it. We'll just put the... Um, put this thing over here or something. Right there, next to this thing. And there. And we'll get these things back in place. There we go, and we'll chuck these in. One, two, well, we'll leave, we'll leave one as well. Because we can. 
Okay, so lots of things we have to do. The algae spreader definitely needs to be done. Uh, most of this iridium is done and gone. There's a ton over here, I think. Oh, by a ton, I mean like five pieces. Oh, we got one, two, three. See if my prediction is correct. Four. One in there. Five. Ah, oh, we got six. Cool. I'm happy with that. Easy iridium. see one hiding under that rock there. I don't know if we can get to it or not. We have to wait for this rock to... Oh no, we don't have to wait. It's opened up enough. Beautiful. Easy. How much space do we have? Uh, I mean, we can go to the Iridium Extractor and get more Iridium. Okay, there was a piece over here wasn't there that I couldn't get to. I wonder if it's still there. It's still there. I still can't get to it. Let me in! Okay. I got plenty of oxygen, so... I can have a quick little search around. Some might have rolled down this hill and ended up in the water. Or a meteorite could have crashed in the water without me realizing it. Yeah, it did. Two of them did, I think. There's one over there as well. Okay, I don't have the oxygen for this. Gonna have to go back in a second. Head back. What I'm really doing is just uh, eating through a bit of time, waiting for the water level to rise a bit higher. It, it looks very close. That might actually be the highest it's going to get. Or it might get a bit higher. We'll see. Let's get a couple more iridium rods. I'm going to need tons of these things. I mean, every single engine I make. And I tend to send a lot of rockets up. Um, five, one, two, three, four. Let's just grab another one. There we go. Doing well. Doing very well. I'm holding that flower on me to remind me to do flower growers. But uh, we, we do have a, a bit of prep to do before we can actually do this. I could stick it in a veggie tube, actually, while I wait. Just get a bit of extra oxygen from a veggie tube. Um... These are 300, those are 200. Oops. There we go. Stick in the 600. And we're going to stick flower spreaders all over the place. Okay, we've still got quite a bit of stuff here. Um, there's more iridium in that water there. Maybe an entire rod's worth. Um, you know, like six over here, another three over there. Now, it's worth noting. Oh, that thing doesn't work anymore. It's not going to give you any any oxygen. Uh, the console probably works, but uh, yeah, it's not going to do your oxygen anymore. Once once the water engulfs your thing, you don't get oxygen from it. Um, okay, we got five. Any more? There might be another one there. Last one, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Valuable resource. Oh, not the last one. There's one more hiding. How many did I get? Seven. Not the nine I was hoping for, but... At some point, we'll get a, a super alloy meteorite. Uh, then you have to run around like a frantic person, just picking it all up off the ground. 
as it's crashing and hope you don't get direct hit by an asteroid while you're doing it. Because it de despawns so quickly. Okay, we can send that rocket up. In fact, I probably should. Now that we've got all the iridium we need. But that means I'm going to have to run around like an idiot collecting iridium again. Um, what I'll do is I'll come inside and we'll get the algae collector all ready to go while the while the meteorites are crashing down. Um, so what have we got the... Okay, so we're getting the pressure up basically. Um, I really want to get the heat up. The pressure is going to give me a gas extractor, that'd be nice. But 100 and I've got 3.5. It's going to take a while, but uh, we'll get this thing going. Go. Okay, let's get our algae thing above set up, ready to go. Um, oh, there we go. The rocks disappeared. We've got a iridium here. So we can't do anything until we have the algae going. Now we should have one of these nuggets. Oh, we do have one fertilizer. So we could put one flower spreader down. that. Where is it? So yeah, we do have a fertilizer. That is for one flower spreader. I think we need one of those as well. And three water and a magnesium. Three water. We can get three water from here. Hopefully I don't get hit while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, flower spreader. I mean, ultimately what we're trying to do is get this biodome. We need fertilizer, and fertilizer, oh, and bacteria samples. All of that requires algae. Um, how far off algae growth tier 2 are we? Is that that's what I'd like to know? The algae tier 2. It might be a biomass thing. Oh, that's what we want, ore extractor too. It might be a biomass thing. So we can check this out in here. Yeah, and we need 25 grams. We're not even halfway there. So, we need to get more biomass going. It's all good. Um, okay, we'll get the tier 1. We just need an eggplant, and then we're set. Luckily, we've been slowly accumulating these things. As you can see, we got red glowy things all over the place. We'll get them in, get there in a second. Let's get algae. We'll, we'll push this way out here. And uh, that'll produce algae for us. Uh, it takes a while to get started, but once it's started, we're good. Now we do want this flower spreader. We need a super alloy and a magnesium. And we're also, we're going to stick the 600 seed in. What was it we needed again? Ah, super alloy, magnesium. Super alloy and magnesium. There we go, flower spreader time. And, I don't know, we'll put it out the back here somewhere. I, I, I kind of want to just out of the way. This is all going to be building area, I believe. Um, so we'll chuck it over there. What is that? Oh, that's my extractor. You can see it through the rock. Anyway, flower spreader. Let's, um, let's go. Let's put it here. So at the moment, it's giving 7.2 biomass. But we put this in here, it's still 7.2, but it's giving 996 oxygen. Wow. Just wow. We need some water. Okay, let's run around the map and collect all that iridium. I think our plants are probably ready by now. Um, as well. I haven't, I haven't touched them in a while. I need more of these growers. Should, that's a project I should be doing right now. Hey, jeez. And we'll get some water. Okay, let's go. Iridium. And uh, you see, this is our algae thing. It's gonna produce algae things under the water there. Anyway, night time is the best time to be doing this. 
we can see the red glows really easily. In the distance there. God, those sound effects are really loud. Hang on, I'm just going to lower them a bit. We'll get the music down to 10. There we go. Playing close. Zoom. I think we're doing pretty well. I think uh, we're getting that. Slightly terraforming the planet. Raining down on here. I wonder if the rising water is going to ruin my algae collector. I don't know. I'm hoping it just rises with the water level. If, if that's not already the top, it could be for all I know. But yeah, we desperately need the, uh, the algae from that. So I couldn't really wait any longer. We have to make fertilizer. We have to make, what is it, bacteria samples. Stuff like that. We're getting into the biomass stage, really, of all this, where we're focusing more and more on biomass. Okay, it's more over there. There's free, glowy red stuff all over the place. And all this stuff is going to be... I'm going to be sending up a ton of biomass rockets later on, once I've up unlocked them and I have uh, my algae set up going get the biomass going. So these, all this iridium is going to be turned into iridium rods, which is going to be turned into engines. Rocket engines, which are going to be yep, going up into space. Just checking to see if there's any red stuff in there. Okay, there's a bunch. I don't know, it's daytime, it's hard to see, it doesn't glow as brightly. We got a lot of rock here. Unfortunately, any iridium would have gone into the water most likely. I'll grab that one. We'll grab this one. We only got two. There's probably more buried underneath all there. We just can't get to it. I'll just quickly check this out. Okay, O2 levels are. Uh, on the low side, I better head back to base and uh, fill them up. We've got our grass, um, uh, our flower spreader. You can see it's uh, creating flowers. Mainly, it's just giving a huge boost to our oxygen and a little bit of biomass as well. We'll just hop in here. Um, I would like more more plants, basically. So that's something I want to do right now, pretty much. More food growers. One more iridium. There you go, three more rods. And uh, we've got plenty of osmium. We're good, we're good. Okay, what do we need for more food growers? Aluminium, iron, and water bottle. Easy, easy. Uh, where am I storing my aluminium? Here. So we'll get four more food growers. And I think it's just water now. Are we storing water anywhere? Yeah. I know my water collector probably has some water in it, but... Yeah. Food growers. Here we go. Oh, I should have brought the seeds with me. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, we'll just chuck that down. I think we only really need two beans. Two beans, two mushrooms will do. Probably one squash. And three eggplants. So we need a squash, an eggplant, a bean and a mushroom. Not there. Squash. Oh, sorry. Eggplant, squash. Bean and oh, we don't have any more mushrooms. Seriously, 
We only have the one mushroom seed. Well, that's that's annoying. Okay, we'll grow extra squash while we uh. Ah, uh, no, no, we'll do this. That's fine. Yep. And we'll chuck these extra ones in here. Um, I'm also going to stick some lockers in the biodome. So I can just harvest stuff and just dump them in the locker. It's just for convenience. Okay, eggplant. Eggplant. This is like all for fertilizer, basically. We'll chuck the squash in here. And we'll chuck the bean. The two beans will keep us fed pretty much for the rest of the game. Two bean plants enough. One isn't quite enough, I don't think. You, you just you tend to. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to go into the table. Yeah, that's good. So we can dump stuff in there. We can also I don't know. We can put one in the middle here as well if we want. Problem is we have to run around to go out that door, but it, it's fine. So we got a, a couple of growers there. We got. All right, a couple of lockers there, we got all these growers going. This is look, looking really good. Looking good. What's going on out there? There's probably more iridium floating around, but I'm not interested in that right now. Um, let's have a look and see how our algae is going. I think this is still rising. Okay. One. Two. We got two. Just two. But yeah, this adds 127 oxygen and 0.6 biomass. It's not that much. Unfortunately, any more algae? It's not, it's not enough. Uh, once we get the algae tier two, we'll be we'll be happy. What does the bio rocket require? I assume it's this one here. There, biomass rocket, 175. So we're miles off. We haven't even got the algae generator tier two yet. But once we get, I mean, we're getting there. So we'll disassemble the tier one and we'll chuck this tier two in. Okay, we've also in here. I should put stick some lockers in here actually. Uh, probably line all the walls of lockers. I'll be using a lot of stuff here. So as you can see, it's three algae just for one fertilizer. We won't be using the fertilizer tier two. Three algae for a bacteria sample. We need a bacteria sample for the mutagen, but we need methane cartridges for that. And methane is um, the gas collector, the gas extractor, which is this. Which went a long way off. We need a hundred megapascals. Oh, sorry, millipascals, and we've only got six. Um, I'm looking forward to this thing. I would like to get the heat up a little bit. Maybe we can throw down some heaters. How much power we got? We got lots. So, like, we can stick a heater there. We can get three more heaters. And the heaters. Um, when are the tier four heaters coming? See, so, yeah, we're miles off. We need a lot more oxygen. Yeah, we'll get three of these. So we need three iridium rods. We've been making those. And silicon, titanium, aluminium. Titanium, aluminium. Am I storing aluminium in random locations? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll just go into our aluminium locker. Right, and let's get the heaters up. Well, we'll chuck this one down first. I've got to do something about this base design. I, I'm still waiting for that compartment. Oh, are you kidding me? The, I need to disassemble this one and uh, replace it. Get it as hard up against this wall as I can. Uh, yeah, water and hunger are a problem. Okay, this should now allow me to... Oh, come on! I could fit two in before. Oh, was that the normal heaters? It's very frustrating. I was hoping I could fit two. I'm sure you can. There we go, you can, you can. Food level, water level, fine. Eat, drink, we're good. Um, I'm gonna need a place to store my new mutagen, right? Sorry, algae stuff as well. Um, okay, let's 
disassemble this thing and try it again. Um, so we're going to go as far to the... It doesn't matter if we don't have it far back as possible. We've got to make sure we're as far to the right as possible. And... Come on. Uh, for some reason, two fit in that gap there, but they don't fit in this gap here. I, uh, am I doing something wrong? Got it. It's got to fit. See, um, here I'm overlapping with the right heater. There I'm overlapping. Here I'm overlapping with both. Maybe if I turn it around. Oh, I just had to turn it around. They're different sizes. Who would have thought, huh? Okay, this should... I should be able to fit this in here. Uh, I had it. Come on, I had it. I had it. <laughs> Frantically clicking. Why is this not working? Um, I had no... Oh god, I had it again. I had no problem fitting the other two in on the other side, but for some reason... Yeah, it's sticking out a little bit, but it's okay. It's giving me a lot more heat. Let's uh, let's check this out. Uh, energy is fine, and the heat is now up to almost 6,000, uh, which is good. We're trying to get to this drill tier 4. I would actually like to maybe fill this up with heat as well. How much is it going to require? Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. It's not a problem. So we'll go... Um, how have I got this organized in there? I want four more anyway. One, two, three, four. And... We'll get four of whatever we need. What do we need? Titanium, aluminium, silicon. I've used up all my spare aluminium. Okay, here we go. Now th these fit in here easily. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Um, okay, how's our heat looking now? 8,275? It's getting there. Heat is still very slow. I'm trying to get these tier 4 drills. That's basically what I want. But uh, 41 heat. It's just taking its time. Um, okay, uh, let's go get, collect more algae. But that does help. I mean, it gives us more heat. One... Two, that's it. Growth 85%. I feel ripped off, only two. Is there a way I can increase my biomass? It's another question. I mean, we're getting there. I mean, it's almost 25. That'll give us a lot more algae once we get the, the tier two down. Uh, we do have this stuff here. I don't even know where I'm storing it. Did I start a new locker? Yeah, I did. So, what do we need for the flower spreaders again? We just need fertilizer. Um, which is going to require some veggies. What else do we need? Sulfur, I believe. Speaking of sulfur, we should go to our sulfur plant and, uh, and see how much sulfur we've gotten. So there we go, fertilizer. And now we can make another flower spreader. Unfortunately, they use up a super alloy every single time, which is very annoying. We'll grab those. We'll grab our super alloy. And we'll grab a seed to chuck in there, a flower to actually spread. 
Uh, we want to spread the um, the best flower we can for this one. And yeah, let's. Oh, I didn't grab any magnesium. Okay, we'll just grab some magnesium really quick. Do I have any random overflow? No, I don't. Okay, we'll just grab this one. Where are we going to stick this flower spreader? This will help our biomass out. Uh, we'll chuck it over there. I'm probably going to chuck drills over here, to be honest. We'll, uh, we'll just chuck it here for now. So the flower spreader, as you can see, is adding 7.2 grams per second of biomass. Uh, zero oxygen, but then we do this. Boom. And suddenly it's giving us 644 oxygen. Beautiful. Going well. Going very well. Okay. I really do need to explore more wrecks and get more of those chips. Are these done? 89%. Okay. Don't need to worry about that. Yep. Oh, I, I was in here because... I came in this entrance because I wanted to check this thing. We're getting close. We're almost at the algae generator. Um, okay, so one thing I would love to do is try and find more of those chip things. I mean, I could fully explore that wreck. I haven't. I think there's more in there that I haven't gotten yet. But uh, let's head over to this wreck over here really quick. I just want to dive in there, grab any kind of microchips I can find, and then hopefully get the... Um, the big living compartment because I want to create a proper storage room and I can I know I can do that out of a big living compartment but it's it's very annoying doing it out of the small little compartments joined together because as you can see the gaps you know the the adjoining parts of the compartments make it very hard to line it just looks very ugly it's very annoying lining uh, well those small compartments with uh, with large lockers the big living compartments it it comes out really nice. So I can't be too many microchips away from, from nailing it. What is that? Okay, I thought it was like part of a crate sticking out of the ground. Um, okay, we've got that. I'm just getting my oxygen up. That was quick. Okay, let's, let's go in here. So what we want to do is we'll turn our light on. And we'll look for some crates that we can inspect. Okay, we've got eggplant, eggplant. We've got seeds on the shelves there. Okay. Keep an eye on my oxygen. Might get lost in here if I'm not careful. Nothing, nothing. Okay. No chips, unfortunately. Still no chips. Mushroom seed, though. I can grow some more mushrooms now. Oh, golden seed. Love it. That's the 600% that's the one. That's perfect. What is this? A seed ship? I wanted microchips. More seeds. I have to go and dump all my stuff in a second. Um, let's get rid of these. There's probably more seeds on these shelves here. What's that? Bean seed. I don't need more of that. Um, no chip there. Oh, lake, oh, lake water collector. Wait, that's just full of iron. What, what is this? Okay, we'll get the bio nugget. Um, we just collect the valuable stuff for now. Um, I mean, I don't need more beans. I don't need more squash. Let's just go back. And I'll come back in here and grab all that in a moment. Uh, but no chips. That's, that's very irritating. Hydration level low. That's fine by me. When it says critical, I'll drink. Um, okay, let's just that. One, two, three. Ah, now we'll just drink now. And we'll eat this as well. Fantastic. Let's go back in. It's a 
big ship. Ah, uh, there's probably stuff in these lockers and things on the side. Oh, algae generator is available. We can get the second level algae generator. Come on, give me a little microchip. That's what I want. Well, I can't say super alloy is obviously not bad. Um, oh, seed lerma. Yeah, that's fine. Are there any more seeds in here? Seeds are good. Lerma. Yep. All seeds. I love all those seeds. Whether I stick them in flower growers or grass spreaders, it's, it's all good. Where does that go? Oh, oh, oh here we go. Microchip. That's what I want. Gosh. Tusker, Pastera, I'm getting all this stuff. Uh, how much space have I got? Lots of it. Um, anything else in here? Anything behind here? No, nope. don't want to get stuck. There we go, eggplant, eggplant, squash. Oh, a rocket engine, yes please. Beautiful. What's up here? Another microchip. Okay, we're going to get... I am absolutely convinced. Oh! Rocket engine. Look at this place. is gold! This is so good. Look at all this stuff. I gotta go back and... and... and get more oxygen. Although I do have the capsule, but I'm, I'm full of stuff anyway. Um... I'll come back and get all this another time. Is there any more chips around? But yeah, two engines? I mean, this is so good. Okay, well, we'll grab some of this stuff. The mushroom, the eggplant, the squash, I don't know. We'll, we'll take the food, actually. Dump it in our chest. We'll have to come back in. Um, we've pretty much explored this whole thing though. We actually have. I don't think there's any more. Oh, actually, maybe there is. What is all this? I, I gotta get back and, um... Okay, what is all that? I gotta get back and feed my... Feed my oxygen bar. Ah, it's so bright. Okay, turn the light off. Uh, we got a bit of a, a problem here. What we need to do is we need to create another locker. And, yeah, gotta basically go back in there. But, but look at all this stuff. And the microchips hopefully gives us a large living quarters. I, th I think what we'll do is we'll take this trip back. Um, gosh, all this stuff. I'll grab those two. They're valuable. Uh, the iron not so much. Even the aluminium isn't so much. I mean, I, I want the aluminium. <laughs> it's not like I don't want it. Uh, yeah, that's garbage. There we go. Um, we'll come back. I'll come back to this. I gotta head, head back to base. Wait, where is base? It's this way, right? can't see because of the sandstorm. But yeah, there, there's our iridium, underground iridium sun. We haven't checked on the sulfur mine, the sulfur extractor, the two iridium extractors, the aluminium extractor. They're all full by now. Absolutely. But, um, but yeah, I'll do that off screen. I'm wrapping this episode up now. What I'm just going to do quickly is check these microchips. And if uh, the microchips are... Yeah, if one of them's a big living, depart uh, living compartment, which probably is, I want to chuck that down. Chuck that down and then create like a, a brilliant massive storage area. Probably just off the side of my base somewhere. Fill it with lockers. Okay, okie dokie, we're going well, we're going very well. Okay, let's have a look. Agility Boots T, Tier 3. And... G 
GPS satellite too. We still don't have it. No big living de compartment. That's so annoying. I can't make my my huge, brilliant storage area, which is what I want to do. Oh well, that'll have to be for another time. Um, okay, everyone. I'm just going to be sorting stuff out and taking multiple trips, checking on the extractors. We'll uh, we'll pick this all up on the next episode. So I hope you're all still enjoying the series. Um, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, bye for now.